Okay, so here we go again. This is for pain. Just going to talk in general about pain concepts you need to know. Uh, working or outpatient orthopedic, especially you're dealing with people in pain all the time. Pain can be very confusing, very complicated, um, a lot of stuff, a lot of factors, a lot of layers to it. People want to make it simple and say somebody is, uh, you know, spleeny or they uh, don't have much tolerance for therapy or all these kind of derogative kind of things. When usually it's a kind of a complicated thing and the more you can know about it, the more uh, effective you can be as, as a therapist. Uh, some terminology, nociceptors are pain receptors. We're breaking our pain down into acute, acute and chronic stages and levels. And this is a key thing um, to drive your treatment decisions. In real life, it really blurs, and somebody can be having an acute and chronic pain even at the same time. So we're kind of making almost an artificial designation to make it easier and cleaner uh, just to learn the stuff and to be tested on the stuff and to know what to do in what circumstance. So we're saying acute pain is like that immediate kind of biological response to a trauma kind of situation. Chronic, it's, we'll say artificially is longer than three months. Um, it may be intermittent, maybe um, it's a kind of a long-term kind of situation. Referred pain, be aware of referred pain. Um, examples of this, somebody has a heart attack or is having a heart attack or heart issues and they feel it in their shoulders. Classically, the left shoulder could uh, present otherwise the neck pain, uh, something to kind of be aware of. Even with shoulder pain itself, a lot of times they feel it very distal to the glenohumeral joint or to the fracture site, the shoulder fractures, where it's actually um, much, more, much more proximal. Again, your thumbs can help you. You can tease out where it's sore, what is the real uh, story here, what's really going on. Doms uh, is another thing you need kind of be very aware of in outpatient treatment. It stands for delayed onset muscle soreness. So uh, cl classically, somebody is working in the yard and they feel something in their back, like, oh, it wasn't that bad, and next morning they can't get out of bed. It kind of takes a while for it really to set into the body. And you'll experience this as a therapist if you work with somebody in a clinic, and they'll say, oh, I can tolerate this. This feels pretty good. I, th I think I'm okay. You know, and then the next day they call up and said, what did you do to me? My shoulder is killing me or, or whatever. So just, I guess in general, start out slow. Listen to how the person will listen to their body. Listen to them what's, as to what's going on. Um, proceed cautiously when somebody's in pain because everybody deals with the pain differently. There are psychological, sociological, physiological factors to pain. I can give you one example. Um, folks who have had uh, substance abuse in the past, drug addiction. I was working in a clinic once where there was a lot of uh, clients that had issues with drug addiction in the past, and their tolerance for pain was just very, very little. You could not even touch them without them going through the roof. So it just made it extra challenging. And it was because I believe their nervous systems, sensory systems, were just so out of whack from being on, on a substance for so long and, and, and numbing their pain. So they were... They were hypersensitive, so it's, again, it's something to kind of think about. Um, neuromatrix theory. Neuromatrix theory says a lot of pain is kind of genetically determined and modified by experience. What does that mean? Um, it's, for example, if somebody's abused as a child, remember those ACE scores we talked about in wellness? Um, well, the ACE scores, uh, child abuse, they found that it can really... Uh, actually affect your DNA, and it can be like a lifetime kind of deal. Uh, they've seen this with mice and stuff. Even mice who don't get a uh, nurturing mother, they uh, respond to stress and to pain, different, and it's like a lifetime deal. Like what happens as a child affects them for the rest of their life. So they may be more sensitive to pain, have less tolerance for pain. Um, again, the characteristics of the two acute and the chronic. The acute is usually something specific that caused it. What well, acute shoulder pain from that student was from a bicycle accident. It became chronic after a while because it, was, it just kept lingering forever. It didn't, didn't heal. Chronic pain goes on ongoing beyond three months. Um, the initial injury is healed 
but because of compensation or whatever, like we talked about with that car accident, um, it's become a chronic pain kind of thing. The pain centers are kind of just remain active. Um, people have chronic pain can have physical effects that are stressful on the body. Uh, chronic pain can have all, all kinds of different effects on the body in terms of the muscles, the motion, your energy, your appetite, uh, affect your modes of depression, anger, anxiety, fears of re-injury, fears of returning to work. A lot of factors involved with that. How do we treat pain? As therapists, there's just a lot of ways of treating pain. It just seems to expand all the time more and more new ways, new modalities. Sticking to the basics, uh, basic ways of treating pain, massaging. So we'll do some stretching, mobilizing tissue, um, heat, ice. There's now laser, phonophoresis, iontophoresis, the ultrasound, which we'll do, dry needling cupping, endless modalities. Some have good evidence behind them. Some, uh, not so much, but they may be very effective. It's hard to say. It's kind of new things. There's so many modalities. You could almost have, we could almost have like a separate course in this program just on modalities. Um, a lot around electrical stimulation, uh, the gate control theory blocking the pain response with TENS units. They block the pain pathways kind of thin, thing. Um, trying to get at a good pain assessment really taking time, uh, teasing out what's going on with the pain, describing the pain, the origin of the pain, the history, the location, what aggravates it, what makes it feel better. And again, following your thumbs, rating it on those pain skills, that sort of stuff. Okay, so that is that.